one, a question that I get a lot is whether or not German short hair shed. And I always giggle just a little bit because if you've ever seen mine, you know that they are two-toned. So they are what's called liver and roan, which means I have white hairs and I have brown hairs on them. And so yes, German short hairs do shed and I am lucky enough that I have both colors so they land on everything. But I thought since I was cleaning my floors today that I would share with you everything that I use to keep that pet hair under control. Okay, so first up, I have the Dyson DC40 multi-floor vacuum because the majority of my first floor is hardwood, but I also have carpet and tile throughout my house. So I like this vacuum because I can go from carpet to wood to tile and not have to worry about it. So that's the first thing that I use and I usually try to vacuum once a week, sometimes more. Now, if I can't vacuum that often and the pet hair will accumulate, it accumulates around the edges, so around your cabinets, around your furniture, along any walls, that sort of thing. I use this Swiffer floor duster. So it is this little handy dandy duster. There's little wipes that attach to the bottom side here. They are um, disposable, so you just throw them away and I just go around all of the edges with this tool. It picks up all that hair when I'm not able to wash the floors or in between washings, and then I don't have to be annoyed by all those little hairs and all the little crevices of our house. When I am actually washing my floors, I use um, a, what's called a Bona hardwood floor cleaner. It is this item. It's sort of like a Swiffer, so it has a fillable piece here. You put a cloth on the bottom, and then you just go across your wood floor. So if you have wood floors, I really like this. I would use this whether I had dogs or not, but it works really well um, just to kind of clean up any paw prints, dirt, that sort of thing. Um, so this is that Bona Hardwood Floor Cleaner. Now when I'm trying to get fur off of furniture, I use what is called a Bissell Pet Hair Eraser. It has tons of different attachments across the top, so whether I am going across the seat or I'm trying to get in the crevices, it has lots of different pieces there. And so this is just called a Bissell Pet Hair Eraser, and I use it on usually just my furniture. Other things that I use on my furniture, I recently just purchased this Gonzo Pet Hair Lifter. They come in two packs, so it looks like this when you take it out of the package. You don't get it wet, it's sort of like a sponge, but you just scrape it across your furniture and it gets the hair up and you just then wipe it right off. Um, I've really liked this, but sometimes I like to use this um, OXO Good Grip Fur Lifter and it looks, it looks like this. And so you basically just scrape it across the furniture and then it's gonna collect the hair. You put it inside this thing and then you pull it back out and the hair then collects in the bottom and you can just dispose of it so you don't have to do any wiping off. This container does it for you. For you. And then lastly, the thing that I use, because my dogs like to eat things that they're not supposed to. So they eat my hibiscus flowers outside. They like to eat grass. Um, the younger one used to like to eat rocks, thank goodness, I think he's grown out of that. Um, but these items don't sit well in their tummy, which means that they're gonna come back up and typically that is all over my dining room rug. For some reason, that's the place they like to do it. But I purchased this Bissell Pet Stain Remover and you fill this por portion with cleaner and then you just spray the cleaner after you get all of the clumps up. So first you have to clean up obviously whatever they threw up. Um, or any other sort of accident that they might have had. Um, so clean that up, then I spray the cleaner all over it, then I turn this on and it sucks it right up into here. If it's something you need to scrub, it's got little scrub brushes across the bottom, but I've actually gotten even wine out of carpet using this thing. Um, when I was walking down the stairs and a dog came flying out beside me and knocked me down the stairs and my red wine went flying all over my carpet, um, this thing actually worked for that too, so I didn't have to get rid of my dogs. So at any rate, this is a lot of things I realized when I was trying to collect all the things for this video. I realized that I have a lot of things to make sure that I can keep my house clean and still have dogs. Um, because I'm someone who, if you're going to have dogs, you need to embrace the dog hair. To assume that you're not gonna have dog hair and you still want a dog, you're gonna find yourself extremely frustrated. So what I did in, instead was figure out ways to control it. So I use my vacuum once a week. In between, I use that Swiffer duster so that I can just kind of clean up all the edges with the pet hair. I clean up my furniture with either this um, Gonzo sponge, this fur lifter, or with the Bissell pet hair eraser. 
And then anytime there's any sort of like liquid accidents, throw up, that sort of thing, then I use my other uh, carpet cleaner here, the stain remover. So hopefully this helps you. I will list all of them down below so that you have the actual names and you can go search them. Um, hopefully this helps you be more comfortable with your furry friends. Have a great weekend. Do you sometimes make messes? Do you leave little hairs around for mama to clean up? Do you sometimes eat things that you shouldn't? Mm hmm And then I get to clean it. Are you guilty? Yeah, you're guilty. <laughs> but are you worth it? <laughs> yeah, you're worth it. <laughs>